uh, 8.40 in the morning central time. I just had to call dispatch and ask them if there's any loads. I woke up and I was like, saw that there was sunlight. I was like, I should have been ready by 4 o'clock in the morning. So, I called dispatch and said, hey, uh, do you have any loads? And he said, yeah, we do. So either they skipped me or they were just backed up and calling people. And hopefully I got ahead, but everything else, everybody else that's here showed up last night but haven't gotten a load yet so I'm thinking I'm good so they do have a load it's picking up in Kermit and it's coming back here and uh, got a lot of things to do I need to go fuel I need to get my jump rope in which I'll be passing up a rest area so I'm gonna do that first then go get fuel and either take a shower there or uh, go ahead and get loaded and then come back and see whether if they're still aligned there so we'll see we got a lot of things to do so let's knock this out all right we made it to the rest area i'm gonna go ahead and get my jump ropes knocked out for the day then i'm gonna head to the pilot and fuel up right now i'm just under half a tank and uh also check see if there's a line for the shower so if if it's short enough i'll go ahead and take care of that and uh then go get loaded and then come back to the well all right, it's uh, 10 a.m. Central Time. I just finished my workout. Uh, today I feel really good, so I went ahead and I, uh, tacked on an extra 500. So 1,500 jump rope jumps and uh, a little bit of dumbbell work So for the uh, upper body and lower back. So if you're done, go ahead and hit the road and uh, hit up the pilot to get some fuel. All right, it's 11 a.m. We're at the shipper. I'm getting uh, in line to get loaded. Picking up 4070 out of Kermit and uh, taking it to uh, Jow, which is going to be probably about 25, 30 miles west of Jow uh, to the well location. Uh, this is the first load of the day. Uh, and also, this being Saturday, this is going to be the sixth load of the week uh, since I came in since Wednesday. So, Hopefully we can knock out. We finished, we did three yesterday. And uh, so hopefully we can knock out three today. I need to get another one yesterday, but the thing is I didn't have enough time to complete it. Uh, since the other night I had actually shut it down in Carlsbad and I had to drive all the way down to Kermit, uh, that cost me some time there. So since last night I shut it down there at the well, Hopefully we can maybe get four in a day, so we'll see. So uh, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. This ice probably usually lasts about two and a half days or so and keeps the water, you know, nice and cold for about three, maybe three and a half days. So getting some ice, getting a two dollar bag, 16, uh, 16 pound bag. Alright, so if you haven't used these before, they take bills and they also, this one takes a uh, card. Just swipe it. pounds of ice all right so my jug's full now I already had like about a gallon and a half of water remaining in there and then uh, the 16 ounce I mean 16 pounds of ice brings it all the way about that high so um, 
I'm not buying any packages of water. I mean, any cases. I just pretty much just buy ice every two, three days. And, uh, you know, the ice melts and I just drink that water, you know. And uh, I'm not having to buy, you know, $7 of, for a 24 pack of water at the, at the truck stop or having to go to Walmart and buy cases there for whatever, you know, six bucks a case or things like that. So, so saving money, just, you know, just getting $2 uh, bag of ice and uh, just using that to drink water. So I'm drinking about two of these a day, is about two liters a day. At least try to. I need to get three, but uh, it, I, I usually just end up getting about two. Every once in a while, two and a half. But we'll see. Now that I'm working out, maybe I can down three of these a day. So we'll see. But all right, let's go. Let's hit up the road. All right, we just finished unloading the uh, first load of the day. The well is down. Uh, there's still a bunch of other trucks that are still full, probably four or five. And uh, the silos are full right now. So they are working on the blender. One of the drivers said it's probably gonna be about 12 hours before they actually uh, uh, start putting orders for more sand. So. I'm gonna head to permit, do some laundry, and uh, I was gonna try to take a shower earlier, but the line was long, so I figured to just go ahead and just get the fuel that I needed and keep going. So just go ahead and go do laundry, and then uh, go get a shower and uh, just sit tight and wait till uh, we finally get some more work. All right, it's August 5th, early in the morning. We're picking up the first load of the new pay period. And uh, I was in Kermit when I got the call, and the load, the only load that they had was picking up out of local hills, which, <coughs> excuse me, which is an hour and a half. I asked, I was like, do you have anything from Kermit? It's like, no, nope, all the loads right now are from local hills. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, I knew, I sh something told me I should have stayed at the well, because if that was the case, I'd be just like 30 minutes away. But, you know, I needed to get a shower in and uh, figure, you know, it was going to be down for a bit. But, no, here we are. Right now I'm filling up my paperwork. I am getting loaded right now. Uh, they're loading me with 100 mesh. So, we're doing uh, one drop down the middle. And we should be back at getting to the well area in probably about mm, 30 30 to 40 minutes somewhere around there we're loaded we got let's see we got 45,940 pounds loaded of 100 mesh uh, our tear weight was 29,840 so our gross total weight is 79,785 I'm sorry scratch that uh, 75,780 pounds uh, so if you want to know the net tons, uh, in tons it's 22,000.97. And uh, pretty quick, I was uh, showed up, checked in, went straight to the uh, scale, got loaded, signed, does it. So I was in and out in like 15 minutes. So wish all the loading loads would go this smooth, but you know, uh, we just got to deal with what we, we get. So. Um, right now, again, it's about 30 to 40 minutes to get to the well, and uh, hopefully uh, when we get to the staging pad, hopefully we get called in to get unloaded, we we'll get to at least today.
Hi guys, it's 2.45 a.m. Central Time. We've made it to the staging pad. I got two other trucks ahead of me. Um, I have 100 mesh. I don't know if they have 100 mesh or just 4070. Don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a nap because I haven't slept <laughs> yet since uh, yesterday morning because I woke up like around 7.30 a.m. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a quick nap and uh, just wait until they knock on the door and let me know when they're ready for 100 mesh. It's 6.45 Central Time. I am in Kermit right now. I finished the load. They gave me another one. They said, hey, this time you're picking up in Kermit. <clears throat> I said, all right, cool. I'm heading to Kermit. About 10 miles before I even get to Kermit, I get a call from dispatch saying, hey, the well's down. Don't get loaded. I'm like, all right. Fine. Turns out the blenders went out again. Uh, last night, the uh, the blenders went out. It was down for like maybe six or seven hours. Then it went back up, and that's when I got the load this morning. Uh, and now it's, it's down again, so I'm going to get me some sleep. I haven't got any sleep since 7.30. Since, since I've been up since 7.30 yesterday morning, and it's already almost going to be 24 hours. So I said, I'm done, I'm tired, so I'm gonna get some sleep and uh, <clears throat> work when I'm ready. So I'll talk to y'all later, bye. All right, it's 2 p.m. Central. I'm still in Kermit. I'm a little over seven hours into my uh, 10 hour break. I'm here next to a laundry mat, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of laundry, wash my clothes, wash my bed sheets, and probably get something to eat right across the street. They have a wing place, so probably check that out and uh, finish out my 10 hour break and then call this batch saying hey if I can go ahead and get my load and go on from there and hopefully we can keep going and hopefully the well will stay functioning so that's it for now guys I'll talk to y'all later all right I got laundry started and I figured you know what since laundry's gonna take about 30 minutes before I have to put it in the dryer and today's the fifth let me go ahead and knock out my jump ropes so, gonna knock out some jump ropes. Man, I'm, I'm hungry right now. And uh, I know if I eat, I probably won't be wanting to do jump ropes anytime soon. Since I really can't move until I'm done with my 10 hour break. But you know what, let me do this now before I eat and all that. So, go ahead and knock that out. I just did 1,500 uh, jumping jacks, uh, not jumping jacks, jump rope jumps. And uh, I think I did like maybe 80 push ups. Might do another 20 just to get to 100. So my clothes should be already done with the washing cycle. Sorry if I'm talking to you a lot of heads with headphones on. Uh, then I gotta put them in the dryer cycle and uh, probably go eat or something like that but uh yeah good workout i only got like six hours sleep last night and i could tell because i kept losing track so like the first four like the first six or seven or maybe throughout the whole thing i did it on and off but i added 10 just in case i miscounted so honestly i i probably did closer to 1600 but uh, I'm just I'm just labeling it, labeling it as 1500 completed. So I finished laundry. I'm back inside the truck. I didn't go out to eat. 
I was tempted to go get some wings, but you know, I tell myself, well, you know what, you can't do that. Come on, you just worked out. So you haven't earned it yet. So maybe later this month, if I'm still in this area here, you know, maybe I'll, I'll treat myself to some wings. Um, you know, since I'm only five days into this, this, uh, this challenge, you know, I've been doing good. I'm five for five now. You know, uh, let's just let's just uh, try to try to keep it healthy as be as much as possible. I'm still within my 10-hour break. Uh, I'm gonna call dispatch and uh, ask them, "Hey, uh, is the well up? And can I go get this load?" So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that's it for now. Talk to y'all later. All right, guys. I just got off the phone with dispatch. We're good to go. It's five o'clock Central Time, PM. So uh, I'm gonna hit up the pilot, get some fuel, get some uh, coffee, and then hit up the shipper, which is about 20, yeah, about 20 minutes away, south of uh, south of Kermit, up 404. And then that's it. We're good to go. Keep going, and uh, hopefully we can get three by the end of the shift. So I'll uh, keep y'all updated. Guys, all right. Um, it's 6 p.m. Central Time. I'm here to pick up my first load at uh, Vista Sands off of 404. Now, I just wanted to say, give out a shout out to a couple of guys that I met yesterday. Um, yesterday, I went to Pilot to shut it, not shut it down, but just kind of get a shower and wait for the next load. And uh, there was no room for parking in the rear of the Pilot. So I parked in the front where there's a lot of gravel area between the main road and the property of Pilot. So it's, it's almost like three lanes wide. So there, I noticed that there was a truck parked on the inside closest to the property that happened to be an 1845 uh, driver, but he was pulling a sandbox. And uh, I parked kind of close to him and... Uh, went inside put my name on the list because I knew it was gonna be a line and of course there was I was the sixth driver in line so I knew it was gonna be about an hour so I go back to the truck and kill an hour of time get my bag ready start walking towards the pilot as at the same time the driver from the uh, from the 1845 truck who's hauling the sandbox is walking at the same time so I make small talk and you know, I introduce myself uh, his name is Gene Gene the Russian he calls himself uh, and we made small talk, asking him, "Hey, how's how's uh, the sandbox side of the company?" Uh, he said it was his first week. You know, he had three stops one day, three stops the next day, and then two th that day. And then he was going to be pretty much uh, sitting because that crew that they're following was finishing up and moving the project to another area and set up shop there. So he had done. Uh, pneumatic on the east side of Texas and then came over here now to do the sandbox to try that out before he made his decision to I guess you know move on if he had to so we're talking up and up until we get to the uh, in inside the pilot and we st we continued our conversation there for a little bit getting more background uh, uh, you know of, of his um, back history of, of his background and uh, uh, someone approaches us uh, mid-conversation and uh, he politely you know, interrupts, says, hey, I'm sorry to interrupt, and looks at me and says, hey, I, you're the guy who makes the videos, you know, th you know uh, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for, for making the videos. And uh, I introduced myself uh, to him and he asked for his name. His name is Sean and really nice guy. And I forgot to mention, both of these guys happened to serve in the Marines and uh, guys thank you for your service Gene Sean thank you for your service I, I appreciate what you've done and uh, I, I just can't imagine the things you've had to go through while you were out there uh, serving our country because uh, Sean 
showed some of his uh, war wounds, and I was like, wow, man, I'm just, it's, it's a miracle you're here. But, guys, thank you so much for serving our country. I really appreciate it, and I know my viewers as well. But uh, it was it was an honor and a privilege to meet both of you, and it was great to uh, for both of y'all to share some of y'all's news. Like Gene, the Russian, he's expecting to have his first kid. Um, Sean, uh, similar situation. Um, what you know, he had great family news, and again, man, that was awesome as well, and guys. That was a true blessing. Thank you for sharing your great news with me. I mean, that was awesome to hear. And uh, I wish y'all luck. I know I'm going to keep tabs with both of y'all. And, uh, uh, you know, kind of see how things are going on your side. And, uh, just, you know, just getting more information. But I really appreciate y'all, both of y'all taking your time to, to talk to me. And, and both of y'all talking. And, I, and, like, we were probably there for about 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes and then I hear my number being called on the intercom for the shower and I'm like okay all right I, I know it expires after so long and <laughs> so I continue the conversation knowing that they've already called and then another five minutes they announce it again I'm like okay it's already five minutes I can continue for like another two minutes and uh, I'm like okay I know it's about to expire soon so I, I had to politely you know, exclude myself from the conversation, and uh, I hated to do that, but uh, it, it was great to talk to you guys, and I uh, appreciate y'all's time, but uh, yeah, it was good, and then I'll, I'll look forward to keeping in touch with both of you guys, and uh, good luck out on the road, and be safe, and I'll see you out there, I'm sure, I mean, as many times as we probably have to go to, to Kermit to fuel up. This is probably the only decent truck stop here. But that's it for now, guys. I got to move up. Y'all take care. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys. I'm loaded. I got 46,000 pounds of 4070. And I'm going to start heading towards the well. I'm going to end this video here. But I'm going to give a shout out to Little Irish Lady. Uh, I thank you for your answer. Uh, it was a partial answer, but I'll take it. But here's a shout out to Little Irish Lady. Thank you for, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, if y'all didn't get it, there was a hidden question within the last video. And if you answered it, uh, you got to get a shout out. So there you go, little Irish lady. Thank you again. And you guys be safe. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button. And if you got any questions, feel free to comment below or send me an email. My email is htowntrucker1 at gmail.com. And I'll get to you when I can. Y'all be safe. Talk to y'all next time. Bye.